2022 Legs of Art program, our artist, Tina McGuana, and our new leggings called Rejuvenate. They're beautiful and we're so excited. We're gonna sit down with Tina and get to know her a little bit. Thanks, Donna. Thank you for this amazing opportunity and allowing me to come here today. <laughs> we're so glad you could join us. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so I'm a mom of three, a wife, I work, um, I have a little side hustle where I do cakes and treats um, and things like that. Um, and I'm a self-taught taught artist, so I've been creating, um, thinking, brewing things since I was a very young, at, well, at a very young age. <laughs> Talk about the different art forms that you do. I do a lot. Uh, I dance. I paint, draw, sketch, um, and um, now I do edible art. So I put my form of art into edible treats like cakes, cupcakes, um, and many more other, other items as well. So arrangements and things like that as well. Tell us a little bit about how you got into art. So it happened at a very young age. Uh, my mom was a dancer when she was young and she taught me to dance. Uh, she used to teach me and a group of young girls or you know all my friends we used to dance for some of our cultural events uh, so dance was brought into you know my life at, you know like since i was five uh, so that was my first form of art and then from there um, i learned that i was able to draw and sketch <laughs> so i started drawing and sketching and looking at pictures and copying and then then i liked making things so gather materials and make things um, and when I was uh, in high school, I learned that I could actually paint. Um, so that was a new <laughs> uh, enlightenment for me. So I, then I started painting. <laughs> so anything hands-on, uh, I like to do. Wonderful. I love the journey through <laughs> all the different mediums. What would you say was your biggest influence into art? Um, I would say just like culture and uh, our music. Um, or music in general. I love all genres of music. Uh, again, I love to dance. So it was music, uh, clothing, fabrics, colors. Um, that was all these things just inspired me to, you know, you know, get those juices kind of running in my head. And there's always something going on in my head, like what can I do next or what can I create? So it was all these, com like a combination of all these different elements that are an inspiration to me. Where do you get your ideas from? Uh, so, uh, many different forms. Um, culturally, I, you know, I'm very um, uh, proud of where I come from, my background, uh, our music, our food, our clothing attire, uh, fabrics and materials. Um, so all of those things combined um, brought me to, to something, you know, what I, well, to this, what I created. Um, it has such a great influence just because I love bright colors, as you can see. Uh, bright colors is something that has just been a part of me um, and it's a way of, for me to express myself. What do you want to accomplish with your art? I want everyone to know that art is, you know, something that is within you. Um, if it's something of interest to you, just to bring it out and to do it. Uh, I want, you know, especially at my age, I'm almost 40. Um, I've had a lot of journeys along the way to get me to this point. So this is such a great opportunity for me to sh be able to showcase uh, a design that I created. So I think that's an amazing opportunity. And let your color shine through. Yes, let my color shine through. Yes. Talk about your support system. So I have an amazing support system. Um, as mentioned already, my mom was a great influence from when I was very, very young. It was a dance and she was always creating, you know, making things and creating uh, things you know around the house and to sell or to try or to decorate our home um, and then I've, my, my father was always there of course by our side supporting both of us in our you know endeavors or um, projects um, and he's uh, he's just you know he doesn't say much but he's always you know he just lets us do what we need to do which is awesome because sometimes when you have that uh, backlash or negative uh, opinions about things then it kind of deters you but he was never like that he was always like okay yeah if you like if you like it if you want to do it if you <laughs> then do it right so he was always there as a support um then my husband my husband's amazing he's always he's 
he's inspiring, he's confident. Um, and I've been through the many journeys as well of uh, trying this and trying that. And I want to do this and I want to do that. And But he's always supported me. He's never said, no, you shouldn't do that or you can't. He's always been by my side, uh, especially with my edible treats. Um, if I'm up till three in the morning, he's sitting there and he's waiting with me till three in the morning <laughs> to help me out. Taste tester. No, I can't, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I can't taste those anymore, but I'll help you. Whatever you need help with, I'll help you. Um, he's amazing though. And, and the kids, the kids I, have been super supportive here today with yes, you. Yes, they're awesome. I've got three awesome kids. Uh, Maya, Arjun, and Gia, they're just fantastic. They're confident, they're uh, supportive, they're funny and quirky, and we just love everything about them. And they, they do so many great things themselves. They're very active, and um, I'm just so glad to have them in our lives. <laughs> what is your best piece of advice for someone thinking about getting into art? I would say just go for it. Um, there's no age limit, there's no, there's no barriers in art. Art is just you know, you being you, expressing yourself in whatever way you can or whatever best form you can. Um, like, again, I'm almost 40 years old. I've had these amazing opportunities that have come forth, especially in this last year, uh, not letting it hold me back. Uh, there's so many things going on in my life right now with the kids' um, activities and work and, you know, just so many other things. But, um, you know, what? just do it if you love it. Make that time for it and just, just do it. Share with us your story behind the, the 2022 Legs of Art print. Um, so I had a lot of uh, inspiration with this piece, uh, a lot of different elements. Uh, again, as being a uh, Hindu and a woman, I'm very cultured and proud of my culture. So I wanted to express that in the design. Our culture is very vibrant, uh, loud, and uh, with the music, the food, the colors, so I wanted to bring, especially the colors into the into the design. I love bright colors, and I and the paisley is just used in a lot of our fabrics and materials and in our cultural attire. So I wanted to incorporate that as well, um, as well as in our henna designs. We do a lot of henna designs where the paisley is um, very well adorned on our hands, uh, especially for special occasions, weddings, and events, and so on. So I think it's very important to bring that as a celebration. Um, and the elephant has so much significance in our lives or in my life where as again being a Hindu you will see in every Hindu's home um, an elephant placed in front of the door or somewhere in the house so we this is one of our elephant gods that we pray to and we find confidence in um, it it's a it means has a very meaning meaningful um, image of prosperity and longevity so we're very blessed to have, you know, something to look forward to in our lives. And that's why I thought I'd incorporate the elephant. I love learning about the the meaning behind the different elements to it. And it, and, and just the color and the, the vibrancy, right? It just comes through in the leggings. So I love it, love it, love yeah. it, love it. Thank you so much. Just wanted to add in there, like, the nature of it as well. Like, I just love the, the paisley and the elephant incorporate the two forms of different natures so we're very animal people and nature lovers so yeah, yeah. great love it <laughs> so what does this collaboration of she's got legs mean to you uh it's just an amazing opportunity you guys have given me is just the stepping stone into such a different world of confidence and um being you know outspoken in my art and being able to share my art uh, which i haven't been able to do really um in all these years, I never thought I would come to this uh, level in my life. But yeah, um, I'm so happy for this collaboration. I'm glad that uh, everyone out there is able to wear these and to be proud to wear these and to show these off. <laughs> and if you see me and you see me running up to you mm -hmm. saying, that's my design, <laughs> don't be scared. I'm just very proud that you're wearing them. You'll have to take pictures. You'll have to take pictures for sure. Well, thank you so much for joining us on our journey with this program. We love your creation and being with us as part of um, getting to know you and about the different legs of art for this year. Well, thank you so much, Donna and team. Uh, you guys are so amazing. And thank you for uh, bringing this opportunity to life. <laughs>